Hey guys, it's Norm from Tessin. I'm here at the World Maker Fair in New York City. I'm here with Bob Rudolph, and you guys run the Project Sentry Gun. Is it exactly what it sounds like? It is. It's an autonomous paintball sentry gun. You can also retrofit airsoft or water guns onto it. People do all sorts of things. It's uh, based off an open source code project online at uh, RudolphLabs.com. Um, based on processing and Arduino, we also have a custom controller board that we sell online. And uh, generally, it just autonomously tracks targets, uh, aims and pans, tilts, and fires a paintball or airsoft gun at targets, and uh, it does it all without any human intervention. So uh, walk me through the whole system. You have the software and the hardware. Tell me exactly what's going on with the, with the Arduino and the webcam and the software. All right, so basically, it starts with the webcam, which takes an image of the, the downrange field. Um, that image goes into the processing code, where we go through it pixel by pixel, um, find motion, targets, and, uh, and then use several libraries to cluster the targets, figure out what's the biggest one. Uh, once it's figured out the largest target, it calculates its motion, how fast it's going, and uh, if it's going fast enough, it actually lead ahead of the target um, to anticipate where it's going to be. Um, There's lead, lead on the shot. Yep, and uh, you can adjust how much it does that too. Then when it's figured out where it wants to shoot, it sends commands to this controller board down here, uh, which actually controls the servos, pans and tilts the gun, and actually squeezes the trigger. So what's the most complicated, most difficult part of programming this? Was it the targeting system? Was it tracking? Um, look, I would say probably the motion detection is the most complicated one. Uh, it relies on background subtraction, which is a, a fairly complicated process. We actually go through it pixel by pixel in the code. We don't use any libraries or anything. It's all home done, our homegrown code in-house. Um, so it's, it's pretty complicated there. You know, luckily, we've gotten contributions because it's open source from uh, as far away as Ukraine, actually. But uh, also, like the anticipation came from Ukraine. All sorts of different contributions that uh, have helped out, and it's it's really getting pretty big. So. And so it's based on background detection. So the webcam knows, figures out dynamic what the background is, and then looks for changes, and then calculates moving objects. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Yep. And then if someone wanted to build their own Sentry gun, what can they do? Can they buy the entire kit from your site? Can they get download the software? Well, we uh, the software, like I said, is open source. So you can download it from RudolphLabs.com, uh, and it runs in processing, like I said. We sell these controller boards, which help with the electronics, because it's all plug and play from there. Uh, we don't sell an actual Sentry kit itself yet, um, though we're working on we're going to sell this one after the show. But it's our, our very first one. It's a prototype. So uh, I, I'd recommend if anyone wanted to get started, check out the site. Uh, there's instructions there, the codes there, and uh, you can buy the controllers there. Yeah. What have you guys tested this on? You know, um, s s raccoons, squirrels, well, siblings? Well, this one, I'm the only one who's tested this one so far. I ran around in front of it. But the thing is, we finished it a couple days ago, right before Maker Faire. So we haven't had much time. We haven't actually had it in a paintball game yet. Um, but this is our eighth version. We've had seven up till now, uh, various airsoft paintball guns. And uh, we've tested those in everything from gameplay to... Uh, remote control cars, shooting at all sorts of stuff, remote control helicopters. So uh, it, it works pretty well. It's pretty deadly. It's kind of scary. It's very cool. It looks very twitchy right now. I wouldn't want to get in front of that. Well, yeah, right right now it's confused because there's so many people running around, doesn't know where to aim. But uh, it, when, it, when it's only one or two targets, it does a lot better. Thanks so much, Bob. And uh, good luck on the project. Thank you. All right, see you guys next time.